first, uh, can we do like a sound check? So, Cameron? Yeah. Hello, my name's Kato. I like men. We all knew we that. We got him saying it! Are we all ready to read The Awakening of a CPU? Also known as the Idea Guys Corruptions! Nothing I don't think right we could ever me. be ready. No, but like, we could do it. No, but I'm yeah. forced to. My balls is hot. That's nice, Cameron. <laughs> There's not even a cover art. Yeah, this is all you get. Like, I like these yeah. emojis. Yeah! It's mm -hmm. how Christine ends off every single tweet they make. So wait, Yuri, did you also replace the text here? Or is this just... Aerial? Oh no, this was actually like this. And this. And this was also like this. And this was also this text. This, I replaced the text, as you could tell. Oh no. But TF2?! So this is like, you know, text. So how are we doing this? We read it. Uh, can, can we cycle out between who reads the walls of text? Because my throat will die whenever we get to page 10. <laughs> am I recording? Yes, I am. Oh, wow. oh my god. Oh, wait. Holy Damn. shit! Hello, my name. Christine Chandler. Do you still have a Sega Dreamcast? <laughs> October 25th, 2017, the life of Miss Christine Weston Chandler. Myself is was beginning to change forever. This is our story. Christine W. Chandler in Can All True Story Destined Prophecy. On this fateful day, I was contacted by a soldier of game industry, simply going by the name of John. John had texted my phone, inquiring of the Sega Dreamcast console I still possessed. He was investigating the possibility of it being the one spiral console of this world holding a portal that could transport me to my actual city and nation of Quickville, Virginia. Shortly after this discussion, I was curious, so Magic Chan Sonichu teleported me and personally psychically scanned my Dreamcast. I stood behind him. We both sensed a sort of powerful voice from inside it. So, after having plugged it back in and leaving it powered on, also I'd like to take a note that I carefully read and reread the text that I was typing up for this. So any typos in here is because I was being faithful to what Christine had written. <laughs> you, you put in way too much effort than this is you deserve. Anything for my fans. <laughs> it's the big 13. All right, so it's at home. Home. I like how Chris has to specify that they're in their home five different on every times. Panel. <laughs> but then in that <laughs> one is Harrisonburg, and then in DC. <laughs> this was kind of like co-written between the Idea Guys and Chris. Like they're basically battling. Yeah. The whole comic is essentially like this happened, and then Chris going, "No, this actually happened." And then them going, yeah, but then this happened. And then Chris going, but then this happened. Because Chris thinks everything is canon, he can't delete anything they wrote. He just has to somehow continue it. It's <laughs> literally whatever kids are in a schoolyard and it's just like, I shoot you with a gun. Well, I have a shield that protects me from a gun. I shoot you with a nuclear missile. I actually have superpowers that help me survive a nuclear missile like Spider-Man. It's like that. Yes, it's like that's pretty much the without the night. <laughs> what is, what is that are... little Judaic symbol looking thing down there? I don't know. We, we know what it is. <laughs> are you okay, that dude? Which one's the line? Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> He's thinking real hard about it. His brain shut down. No, which one is the line? I'm confused. Yeah, I'm yeah, okay, okay at the middle right panel. Oh, I thought you were all saying you were okay. No, no. It's literally the line. I was like, yeah, Just what is she talking about? I listened, my brain damaged. This is why I stopped analyzing them. Yeah. I'm okay. For more than 24 hours, I opened my heart and mind, and after placing my head on the console, I felt their power. The powers of the in energy shared into me from the CPU, Goddesses, Neptune, Blanc, Nora, and Vert. But the main feature was Uzumi, Tenobushi's spiral seal. I had thought Uzumi herself was inside me, her soul. She had spoken to and through me for two weeks long, during the time among which Uzumi's bad half, Kuromi, was making chaos her in this world, in league with the psychopaths Akan, the Russian billionaire, and Doki Doki Monica. <laughs> oh, <no! laughs> oh, I forgot. Wait, really? I forgot about Monica. 
John's group was separated for a while. Even adult Neptune portaled to Harrisonburg, Virginia, looking for him, her sweetie. I sent Sylvana Rosechu to locate and rescue her. There are kinds colloquers all around her. Uh, thanks to her espionage and transforming and psychic skills, Silvana rescued adult Neptune and brought her back to game industry safe and sound. My dreams and mine were not safe, though, as Kurome and Akan time and again invaded my dreams and attempted to manipulate my own dots up to this day. As I write this page, Quick Real was attacked on November 4th by Count Graduon's forces. With influence by Kurome, fortunately, with Magichan's help, I was able to reason with Graduon before Kurome got to him. And with mine, Kurome, even Discord's help, <laughs> we oh, all- Oh no, you found. said, you said, Yuri! I said there are no ponies! Not. Discord is not a pony, it's a Trichoticus! No, I feel like Am I'm the... flipping that switch on that orb of confusion. <laughs> Am I the orb only one that confusion. every time you say game industry, I just hear gay man industry. <laughs> <laughs> Game <laughs> man industry. That might just be because it's coming from Chris, but. Go oh, back to zero dimension, Kuromi! Fucking Eureka and Toe Arrow, I've helped. I was the catcher's mitt behind the created portal Chris made. Gradualon, help me! I will not be a ruler over a nothing world. Kuromi back to the zero dimension for a while. On John's team, we also have all the Sailor Senshai from Usagi to Sensunia finding out that they, among all others, actually existed and resided. And this world blew my mind away for weeks. It is to note also that during their time in this world's pre yat pre pre -yat, Oh my yeah. god, this is going to be terrible. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> While relic hunting, Makoto slash Sailor Jupiter saved John, Neptune, Nepgear, and Blanc's lives when the group were met by German soldiers. German now, soldiers? Game <laughs> <laughs> World War II flashbacks here, what the hell? <laughs> Nepgear fell well wounded towards unconsciousness. As she was recovering, Nepgear physically communicated with me through my phone via text message. It was totally surreal. She asked me to ask John to cuddle her. He did. And Gearzy came back to us fully. Also, Loli fell under great attack by cloakers. It became critical. So I sent Quickville's army division, Quick Defense, and my team of Autobots, led by San <laughs> Sanchu. They pushed the enemies back magnificently and stayed to restore Blanc's nation around November 11th. Kuromi and John took a last stand against each other. Kuromi knew Uzame was inside me. Oh boy. At least her seal. <laughs> oh no. Uzami herself, having been in hiding beforehand, showed up as well to the battle. Kuromi en ended up confused over which Uzami was the real one. Myself, Uzam or Uzami there. What the let's fuck not is happening? Let's not draw any of that for I... context. Let's just have the text. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> I have read through every single page of this like five times over from beginning to end and I I genuinely do not understand if there's a coherent storyline. If anybody here begins to understand what's going on, you need to warn us because that means we need to <laughs> we need you send you to an <laughs> asylum ASAP. I mean like I I know where it goes. I mean, like it starts I mean, to make a little more sense. Just well, kidding. Uh, it's the quick defenses sponsored yeah, by the US Army. Army. That's Bumblebee. What's with the the femboys in front of the US Army soldiers? I'm confused. Uzume wasted no time as she merged with Kurome to once again become the full Uzume. After the reunion, Uzume thanked me. Little later, she told me I still had her orange heart powers inside me with her seal. I fucking hate this. <laughs> she asked for her powers back, so I focused, concentrated, and successfully gave her powers back to her. Her seal remains inside me, attached to my heart crystal. Ask the senshi, the heart crystals are all real, and we all each have one inside us. I can't help but notice how much stuff Christine has inside of her. Yeah. <laughs> That's the Crunchyroll logo. <laughs> Is there no color in this? Sometimes there's color, sometimes there's not. I didn't even fucking try. No! 
Thanks, Christy. <laughs> We've made our mark on history. Thank you, Christy. <laughs> but while Uzume was finally awesome again, Akan and Monica were still out and about. Around November 14th, John's friend Cave and I were about to meet and discuss the details, but the cloakers were about and they pursued her. I sent Sylvana to defend the cave, but after her efforts, Sylvana got captured. I, I kicked myself for allowing that to happen. The next day, uh, John took all, all of his group and allies to Akan's troop base camp. Oh no. The this world, north of Ruckersville, <laughs> here and started a rescue mission that turned into a four or day so war. Christine Chandler of the Quickville, of Quickville rescued Savannah. During her time, she had meditated and gathered info on the new on the, on the enemy. Akan's troops fell and fled. That war was... and, then, and then, uh, God, how do you do this voice, Yuri, all the time? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I agree. She had mediated and gathered info on the enemy. Akan's troops fell and fled that and fled that war was over. Another would begin weeks later. Why is Chad Kroger in the corner? The great part about this is if you stutter your lines, it's just accurate to real Chris. A Russian flag. This was made for me. Why is it the only thing that's colored in the image? <laughs> wait, is it? Wait, hold on. The, the fucking hotel blows up and the only thing left is a toilet? Skibbity toilet. Flag. Oh no, the soup hotel! No! <laughs> Cloakers and sleeping agents at attack quick wheel. It took out a hotel full of criminals. Please just drop lightning. that Russian accent and just read it normally. Thanks to Makaro for the chant. Meanwhile, a can showed up too. He brought along an ally to occupy the mayor's seat at the mall. Not having that, I destroyed the mall with a big con- Oh, so he destroyed it. I killed the not mayor. Then, with my creator powers, I restored the mall from the rubble. It stopped from a toilet. Then quickly back <laughs> to the prison. Alright, that- that is a typo on my part. I tried my best. Can made himself at home in the Dimensions 14 branch and called the home- the original home of Chris. He defaced it royally. Gouting with his drone, John found a few guards. Then he found Monica. She introduced herself through the phone. I was aware of her trickery, and I was immune to her memory wipe. The next moment, snap. I guess Chris just has god powers. Like, okay. Well, it's the awakening of the CPU, Curie. Did you not read the title? There's this weird vibe that Chris is like multiple people as well. Yeah, Chris is like, yeah. Kudome, Chris. <laughs> Uh, Neptune. That was that made me laugh harder than it should have. John instantly forgets Monica. The Branchland Courthouse is returned to normal and untouched form. Free of Akan's defacing and Quickville was clear, and all baddies were apprehended and brought to Gradron's prison camps. All the baddies all were the bagged. Baddies. All, the baddies. all the baddies. All the baddies. All the baddies were <laughs> apprehended. Boy. Forgot to mention, because of Akan cool. having kidnapped Savannah, Gradron had signed a peace treaty with Chris and Magichan during Akan's attack. Akan opened a time vortex. Chris and Sonichu got sucked in. Chris has not yet returned. Sonichu ended up in Africa, where he was chased by the natives. <laughs> Emmett Brown gave Sonichu a ride back to Quickville. The flux capacitator cracked in transit, which misplaced Sonichu into the freezer of the mall's country cooking. What? He's okay. On us, facts of Quickville. Ah, uh, dimension. America lost the Cold War. Russia takes over America. No stars and stripes. Flag. Flag. Oh my god, oh, Chris man. went fucking insane. Not again! Like, Chris went insane! Like, I like to think he just materialized in, like, a random, like, African city, like, not even a village, and everyone just immediately saw him and was like, Yeah, damn. I do that! I think we were all just like, <laughs> Kill him! Kill him! Thing. Oh, I was just chilling. Brendan Fraser's the mayor. Hillary Clinton won the 2016 election, but she became violently ill after a few months in office. Vladimir Putin becomes the president. <laughs> There were differences in disputes between Quickville's Russian Mafia and Yakuza. That doesn't make sense! <laughs> Elections were held. Ian Brandon Anderson became the new sheriff of Quickville Police, and since Allison Amber became violently ill, mayoral elections were rushed. Uh, Brendan Fraser became mayor of Quickville. <laughs> <laughs> also, during his time in office, Chris had revoked women's rights in the area. What the fuck? Why? <laughs> After yep. my world, Megan Schroeder had wronged me here in 2007, Chris took quick uh, yes, she sailor wronged you. Senshi Talisman, Talisman, stripping Sailor Megtoon of her powers, and banishing Megan from Quickville. She did politically well in La- 
Last station, to when she was promoted to CPU goddess, red heart of the island nation of Kranz, uh, Kransna. <laughs> also, I ended up getting help and wisdom from the Sailor Senshi of Japan, as well as Twilight Sparkle of Equestria, <laughs> in understanding and utilizing my powers. Well, Had good well. chats amongst them. Thank you all. Well, well. Who would have thought? Please, Kels. Russia Mafia and Yakuza and Twilight Sparkle would be in the same paragraph. Oh, don't forget Putin. <laughs> this is like if you let an AI like read 4chan stuff. Chris is an AI, let's be honest. Bro, took these pictures with a microwave. <laughs> Wait, also, who you know? The school the senshi intended, Juban, Municipal Junior High, had a job there as an algebra teacher. But due to Japan having a low number of children to make the school worth keeping, a con what? annex- <laughs> <laughs> Con Annex Juban High Junior High, Amy had to quit and leave Japan. I personally am sad what was a good place of education is now a troop training place. <laughs> John went back in time on Ifs time bike to prevent women's rights from being abolished by Chris, not only because it was very wrong, but also to prevent Rose Chu's angry moment that ended with a bat to the head, causing Sanachu to have amnesia for a while. I was very disappointed and upset at Chris for his misconduct. Chris of 2000 turned out to be to have been possessed by Satan or something. This Damn. is so fucking wild. Oh. You're talking Hello? about your older self! I would like to point out that I realize now it's probably talking about It's Time Bike from the movie It, but this page, mm. the text was super blurry to read, and Chris, whatever they write, they'll like leave stray scratch marks everywhere, so it looked like an F to me at the time. So basically, yeah. there was an, for some reason, there was an alternate timeline created, and the alternate 2000s Chris decided to abolish women's rights in Quickville. So the new CPU goddess Chris teams up with Blue Heart Neptune, who eventually they'll merge with, to basically go and kick him in the balls. That made me more confused. <laughs> yeah, I know. Can you tell me what's uh, censored in the bottom there? Sexual. No, no, <laughs> it wasn't sexual, suicide. Oh. oh. <laughs> My bad. I just, I'm so stuck on that. In memoriam of Hilda, the American Sailor Mercury. God Damn. bless. I jumped a bit ahead before going back in time in efforts of fully awakening my powers, magic, skills, and transformation to Chris Chan Sonichu. John and his group went hunting for some E-11s material. Very rare and powerful stuff. Being blunt, the American Sailor Scouts were amongst us in this world. They had knowledge of the e 11 whereabouts. Sadly, after the five of them got their powers from being given some while in the Women's Army Corps and experimenting with it, this makes no sense. Then US government deemed too dangerous. They all went into hiding. Four of them have died. One still survived. Hilda slash Sailor Mercury of USA. I had the personal honor and pleasure of talking with her. She had heard of me before as well. Hilda was wheelchair ridden from the E-11's experiments. When getting their powers, Hilda was old now and suicidal and paranoid. She's old now. And sexual and paranoid. <laughs> the wheelchair that, wheelchair that makes you old. Oh my god, no. By the time John had arrived, she had already killed- Oh no. No! She had already killed herself. Then I had visions of and from Hilda, the images I saw helped John and his group find the few E-11 uh, very well. All five of the American Sailor Scout souls came to me personally. Hilda herself spoke to me with kind words. They have all been blessed with me with their power and their soul and power energies inside my heart crystal. Still not yet enough fully, fully awakened my Sonatu 4, but my powers grew more nonetheless. As to be noted in Sonatu 12, 12 12.9, an attempt to making a clone of me to tend my house and mother, Nightstar took oh, a strand no. of DNA from Chris to Equestria's mirror pool. The DNA strand was of Chris, was of, Chris of 2000 and possessed like he was back then. Countless lustful Chris clone. What? <laughs> yeah, just what? keep reading. I went to go get a beer and I come back to fucking... <laughs> What is this? Countless lustful Chris clones exited the pool, overcrowding the land. All the equestrians went through Twilight's mirror portal to Counterlaw High and evacuated to Quickville. That's how they met. They all met up with John and his group. Twilight is better knowing of Earth and human culture at this time. Told us a bit of E-11s too. I think maybe that's what the face is. He's trying to say like, this is what all the lustful Chris clones look like. We will help you in your journeys from now on, Christine. We know you will do very well. Fair what enough. is this? What? what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? He 
is! Everyone is good. Took enough of the E1S material to craft these three new Sonichu medallions, any of which would amplify my powers and allow me to become Chris Chan Sonichu. Now, back to the time trip to 2000. Chris was Satan possessed, and a series of events led him to be kidnapped by Not uh, German <laughs> soldiers. Can't German can't soldiers. Can't it's German can't soldiers. Can't German word. soldiers. No, it's fine. It's not. No, it's just changing that world's present timeline to where Chris had become a German soldier and gave his Sonic medallion to Mr. You know who? To that and keeping him alive. It that was one very really disturbing. angry guy. In that timeline, I was forced to kill off that present Chris as well as take away the powers and the magic of the medallion I made. That medallion, I can take it away, turning Hitler to dust. Then John was able to travel back in time and prevent the kidnapping. Chris was taken to Islam to exercise the lost demon <laughs> um, of the three new medallions had to be sacrificed to dispel the demon john returned to his restored timeline while women's rights were still abolished by the way <laughs> sonic you recovered his memory islam is, is not a place that's someone else saying something and i don't remember what it was Arg, i really hate up the butt black i knew chris was insane but chris lost it oh this is some evangelion shit oh my god <laughs> put those oh grippers away <laughs> after that mess what the second new medallion something? was u.s mail to me but sadly after its week and a half trip it was intercepted and stolen by north koreans <laughs> oh <laughs> the cool, time north koreans during the time though i learned a ton of shocking details about quickville firstly the ancient problem C is all too real for me to go against it means death by illness to everyone from the chaotic rainbow of February 1st 2003 out of the 69 special eggs that left from it my own father and myself for two of those eggs I Christine Winston Chandler have been for real a sonichu in this world my whole life I am a chosen one most of the people and individuals of Quickville may used to be Christian but now more than half of them are either satanic atheists or what I can find soulless in those who pray and have faith in the goddesses. Oh, Angelic <laughs> rose chew, more like Angemina Devilina, that really upsets and disturbs me. Oh, hey, it's Islamic Sonichu. <laughs> Naturally oh, selected. No, no, no. <laughs> Angelic rose chew was a Christian, so they set up a memorial United Christian Church until she converted to Islamism, oh. then Satanism. <laughs> 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 Semicolon the church too. Disgust and disappoints me also that she closed herself off from me. Blake Sonichu became an extremist, worshipped <laughs> Osama as his hero. Oh, no. Too. I just While realized Sonichu grew weed. <laughs> <laughs> Base. That, base. I don't yeah. much, but his meth lab, <laughs> hell no, wow, just no. Bubbles wrote you identifies as a muscly black male. <laughs> fair, fair. <laughs> you are not a knucklehead. And Punchy Sonichu should have been black belt, but no belt. Straight jacket. <laughs> 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 he hatched in an insane asylum and developed a hatred towards fat people. <laughs> Punchy, I like and accept <laughs> fat people. <laughs> Come on, Karate Kid, for the ladder, the ladder on you all. What the hell? I what love how Chris thinks the fucking ladder to Satanism, Islam is in the middle I of know. it. <laughs> I know. I, I love how up. you could just still tell how racist Chris is. On December 5th, 2017, <laughs> I had learned from my Miss Rosie Rose to herself of Quick Fell, well, Virginia. Jump. She was born as a male Pichu, remaining male as a Pikachu, even as a Raichu. She still had the male part post transformation. She later she later had herself completely changed to fully functional female by surgery in 2008. But yes, Rose Chew is canonically transgender. <laughs> that I can stand by. Listen to Britney Spears' I'm not a girl, not yet a woman, on repeat as I write and draw this page. Ah, Miss Christine Weston Chandler, creator of Sonic Chew, Rose Chew, in the city of- I- I misspelled that. Quickville, hereby accept and acknowledge my own one, Rose Chew Rosie, having been born male and has been transsexed to female. I continue to love, care, and cherish her as my Rose, my Rose. Yes, Chris wrote it twice. He's also <laughs> feeling heavy-hearted. <laughs> this new had really upset. <laughs> yeah, he just, just, Chris just stopped. <laughs>
Not <laughs> only because I had created her in all other Rose Chews, Rosie in Vampir Vampirosas to be female-only yeah, Pokemon, but I had stood up for and defended her for over a decade in response to depictions of her, drawn by others with male privates, not to mention the number of people pretending to be women to me, and the advertisements on my late Wikipedia website. For years, I thought I was right, and they were wrong, but it turned out I was wrong. Yeah. It hurts me a lot deeply, regardless. So this is the first time Chris admits they're wrong, ever. Right there, the one detail that was the worst shocker to me of them all. Our leading Rose Chew was born with male parts and had the reassignment operation in 2008. This news left me emotionally and mentally devastated for days. Right after hearing this, I started up Sonichu number 15, an effort of rewriting history. But history would not change through my own handwriting or drawing. I left Rosie feeling upset too. So I drew and wrote that page with the heaviest of hearts and endurance. Because I still love and care for her with all my heart, soul, and being, along with each and every other of us all. The special Sonichu and Rose Chu family. I would give my own life for them all to live a very long time and be happy and safe, their children and all other descendants too. I love all of my family. And to acknowledge the events, despite my feelings of the two of them deserving much better of themselves, after meeting by the river, the two of them kissed a lot in sewage. What? <laughs> <laughs> and in their first romp in the hay, Sonichu, oh, who taught him this phrase? Man? Sonichu and Rose Chu role played as hockey players. What? Oh, I'm gonna start this over. This is a wild sentence. <laughs> After metting by the river, the two of them kissed a lot in sewage, and in their first romp in the hay, Sonichu and Rose Chu role played as hockey players. I'm okay, and I have moved forward and passed my initial shock. I haven't. <laughs> I also made some impulsive mistakes that caused discord between the group and I. I vented horribly Score? after hearing Rosie's story. She didn't want to. She did want to tell me. She wanted not want to tell. I'm sorry. <laughs> Stroke. This is this is the first sign. I bet it horribly after hearing Rosie's story. She didn't want she did want me to tell everyone about it in Ish in, in Sonichu 15, but I posted my frustrations on Facebook and Twitter and shamed her. Uzume argued with me that day about that after I got over it. I apologized to both her and Rosie. I handled that horribly. I I had created Quick Bell CPU Goddess, Battery Charge, Blue Heart, Miss and Nerba's Saffron Chandler. In order and the other got the the other goddesses and I had a discussion of toning her down and what console she would represent. We decided she would represent the Smash Z handheld. I misunderstood and thought it was years old when it was actually released last year. And we argued over needless, needlessly re uh, renaming and Noir turned a sh cold shoulder to me. Silvana Rosti was deleted from existence by Monica. I then posted that <gasps> oh, song no. Silvana was lost. What the hell were you on? Rosie was almost dead. She vowed if she got me out alive, she would come to you. Oh my gosh, that is bad. I did not know that. She did want to tell everyone. I'm sorry. Monica, I feel retired, and I feel half my revenge upon you. Doesn't he have enough freaking sex already? I'm currently not fond of I'm sex at all. And I retold her story in the efforts of bringing her back. I even recreated a version with a Neo version. All of that failed to restore Savannah's existence. The group made me and I had more things. Only Monica, that creepy, pushy background dog, can restore Savannah only if she wanted to. I let John's mess <laughs> out and all of my sexual innuendos go to my head and I had exploded. And I'm sure you did, Chris. <laughs> I had exploded into more than one instance of lashing out anger-filled feelings and responses. He is already married to five women. A lesbian couple wants him to help them make a baby. He has a daughter with one of his five wives. And yet he continues to mate and sleep with countless other women with callous activities. Ugh. I feel like I became a big sister to a bunch of nymphomaniacs. Also, I just want to say Monica, best girl. No lie, at the end screen, I just left that there for days. I hate this Monica slander. What about, what? what's the other ones? There's Yuri, there's Sayori, and Natsuki. <laughs> yeah. What's wrong with <laughs> Sayori? Monica, just best girl. Sayori's not bad, but Monica, best girl. Let's just Sayori say Sayori just doesn't want to hang around, around for long. And does nothing all day, you yeah. know? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Another <laughs> misunderstanding that ended horribly was when Block roleplayed a date between her and I. She began with, you asked me out. I accepted. What do we do? Having all of my prior stresses and everyone in John's group, nearly everyone, I did the most stupid thing and jumped ahead to describing how we had romped the hay. She became upset and offended. I was allowed to redeem myself by starting over. The date was adequate and well in our cafe conversation. Regardless, she was still disappointed in me. We talked books and authors, but R.L. Stein paled in comparison to Atlas Shrugged. She asked me why I liked Hillary, Hillary over Trump. I told her direct, Hillary was mature than Hen. I saw his narcissism from a mile away. We also had talked of why I had no oh, job. Did you, Chris? Did you? We agreed the job market is terrible. Stay out of low. Choice authors, Atlas Shrugged. Ayn Rand, George Orwell, Ray Bradford. Atlas <laughs> Shrugged isn't an uh, author, it is by Ayn Rand. I know. God damn it. Choice books, Atlas Shrugged. I have no mouth in my screen. There's no way Chris read the entirety of Atlas Shrugged. I'm pretty sure that's why Atlas Shrugged got crossed out, because he yeah. didn't finish it. I also <laughs> marked the pages for us so we knew what order to read the bubbles. Alright, who's the twink? Cameron. I think I was the twink. God no, damn it. Cameron was inside a lovely cafe. My favorite book is Atlas Shrugged. My favorite author was Arl Stein in his Goosebumps series. <laughs> <laughs> Those books are terrible. Arl Stein was a kid's writer. His Fair Street books were more proper. Now you never read anything more grown up? I have enjoyed The Giver. What <laughs> fucker does not actually read? I what know. can you tell me about the book? It was a complex story with ideals of keeping everyone secure from the horrors of the outside world with a dystopian paradise. Literally just pulled up the spark notes. Oh, yeah. Really yeah. <laughs> Even still, that's young adult. Have you read I Have No Mouth and Must Scream? No, but I would read it. Uh, it's not exactly a dinner topic, but I'd like to see if you reads it. How about a big boy did it and ran away. No, but from the title, I could tell it's a story about a young man making a mistake. I'm no Trump oh, really? supporter, but why did you want Hillary as president? <laughs> <laughs> I liked Hillary better over Trump. Not only she was intellectually superior to him, but I saw his blatant narcissism from a mile away. She would have kept America growing. So, this had nothing to do with her being a woman? Spot on. Who else ran? I don't remember, but when it came down to the final two, they <laughs> swiped away from memory. I know <laughs> politics. I lead a nation. I have to understand politics. It's my job as a CPU. I'm not a politician, <laughs> and politics are mostly over my head. I'm grateful for your set of knowledge, and I do appreciate how it is needed of you and your CPU role. Even Neptune knows politics, and she's the laziest CPU of us all. I was accused of being lazy before. I was not lazy, but my freedom was limited by my responsibilities at home. What responsibilities, Chris? <laughs> what did you ever do at home? So, chorb? Chores are stopping you. Yes, but also my mother. That's what he did at home. Okay. Chores. <laughs> oh, no. Let me ask you this then. Do you pay rent and or utilities? Out of my SSI. Yes, I do. The more... <laughs> She's cable, internet, water, electricity, our treatments, garbage, etc. And above all else, food for the month for my what? mother out of out pets. And I gas the cars and debt payments too. And my mother's constantly on my back. No money, money, money. It's almost endless. You can't work in the kitchen of a McDonald's? <laughs> <laughs> With my line in background history, the way it has been, my background checks would keep me from being hired anywhere, and I have tried applying to McDo at McDonald's, Burger King, Walmart, even Target. Nobody ever calls me back, even for an interview. Plus, I would have to keep the SI by earning less than $100 a month. So, it has been more the difficult for me than one can imagine. Well, I hear you. It actually the job market in this country is horrible. It has nothing to do with your creep factor in the past. Sure. The lack of self-awareness. That's him. That's the guy. He appeared in Africa. 
get him. Oh no, that's Jamstar. What it was heck? real? That's him. He it touched me. Real? Throw that book at him. <laughs> Offender. Oh no, Jamstar, you fucker. We what should did... not be hard on Jamstar. Not. Long <laughs> <laughs> no, with forgiveness. Peace, forgiveness, kindness. The weekend first of December, a quick defense soldier left Pooh on the borderline <laughs> between the nations of Quickville and Aust Australilanta. Australantia. Astralatina. Austinans <laughs> killed him for that rabble occurred on the borderline between the two army divisions. Wow. I tried to separate them to stop the fighting, but that only made the Austinans more upset, and they declared war on Quickville. The following Monday, Jamster Sonichu was being sued by Punchy Sonichu, with Tails and Bionic the Hedgehog testifying for sh Assault. <laughs> and I believe that of Jamster, despite the overwhelming evidence, I prayed and sent good vibes to the courthouse. My powers have worked, as Jamster was found not guilty. Darn protesters were about against Jamster, and after the verdict, riots were started. Building and houses went aflame amongst the chaos. Shameful. Because there was overwhelming evidence that Jamster did do it, and Chris is just like, nah. I'm picturing the Jamster voice to that one like office video about like sexual harassment in the workplace word around the office is you've got a fat cock <laughs> <laughs> not the sonichu flag the quick defense and the ally russian soldiers tried to quell the riots but the australatinas ruled in to attack and engage their war. A large ravine formed with the destruction of Salmonella Rose 2's underground tunnels and hers in Wild's home and treehouse. It's divided the city west and east. Even most to all of the Autobots and the Decepticons defending Quickville all exploded and fizzled out even Optimus Prime and Bumblebee at the writing hands of Michael Bay for the next Transformers movie. The sole and last survivor of Cybertron remaining is the head of my Autobot, Son Chu. Larry Giant and Apox among the dang Michael Bay. I need a new body, please. Hang in there, Son Chu. I will bring my car for you. Oh, <laughs> Image of not so good German symbol. Oh. <laughs> German soldiers, German soldiers. Right now, as I write this page, Son Chu is still alive. I reacted bad to the new vehicle form of Son Chu. The new vehicle form of Son Chu, that is to be. I offended Uzume when I did just now. I'm sorry, Uzume. My reckless response was unexcusable. The new vehicle form of Autobot Sanju will be a mustard yellow 2001 Pontiac Aztec. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when a Sanju and a Rose Chu drive, they drive a hybrid. I was concerned over fuel efficiency in the vehicle. That was what in mm, car shopping in 2014 led me to buying the 2010 Ford Focus. <laughs> Anyhow, a few days after, the not sponsored. The entire Quick Defense they took over the west half of Quickville. Don and the CPUs occupy and defend the remaining east half until, when they can retake the west half, the Russian troops left us and the German sh soldiers that were just following orders joined. Yeah, I really didn't like the way this card looked. Also, Austinians <laughs> killed an entire Quick Defense. Fury, the way that you censored that. <laughs> the Australatinian, as enemies of Quickville, I have been able to retroop the forces with my collection of trained Pokemon since Ruby Sapphire Generation, including my Blaziken in Nuiyasha. At this time, in I started. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> At this time, my Sana Chu and Rosemary family are hanging back because the German soldiers will kill them. My family and I are, in are not inferior, but also I am looking to portal my Skylanders. <laughs> Mebo and Lego Dimensions. Oh, God, I love Skylanders. Oh. <laughs> Amiibo and Lego Dimensions families of leveled up figures. While the portals have yet to be built at this time, my Pokemon, including my Blaziken is, and my Primarina, I have been set to fight the war. The German soldiers shoot to kill Pokemon, and Blaziken and Primarina have escaped, and I do pray all of my Pokemon are safe, alive, and well. Three and German oh soldiers <laughs> nearly wiped all wild Pokemon around quick. Phil. The wild Pikachu count is nearly extinct now. A Nurbass Saffron Chandler, IQ of 144, educated with mostly A grade, sophisticated, classy, self aware. What went wrong? What did go wrong? Since Sylvana Rose Chu's deletion, Magichan and Sonichu has been. <laughs> Forgot about this. Oh, oh no. <laughs> 
<laughs> Magic <laughs> Chan Sonichu has been gay with Mewtwo, and the two of them got married. I had created the CPU battery charged Blue Heart to politely end the what does that mean and restore quick fill, but most disappointed myth anubis saffron chandler came into the world dumb <laughs> also very annoyed to the group spies the war going on she was impulsive to go shopping even to look for th to be her boyfriend i'm like two <laughs> tall boy lone star beers in and it's not enough anubis has had the sense knocked back into her by sega me she as currently hanging back with the others during the war, I have written in them as to be intelligent, classy, and sophisticated before she had entered the world. What the hell? Recently, the German soldiers, which I'm sure were just following orders, got ahead of the most 71, I thought there were 69. 71 special sonnet shoes and rose juice, not counting my leading eight. Subpoena, Sandy, Christine, Rose Jew, Roberta, and Sarah. Dark my oh. sonnet shoes, the leader Rose Jew, were also confirmed to not to be not captured and alive. No luck for Jamston and Salmonella. The CPUs had negotiated for the release of the remaining surviving sonnet shoes and rose juice. Salmonella was released, but she had come down with a terrible syndrome. I tried to heal and restore her. Oh, that's a her. down syndrome. <laughs> I tried to heal and restore her, but a transfer from a recent horrible nightmare I had experienced caused her to mutate. Sisha was with Salmonella last. Then, uh, German soldiers, which were just acting on command, found them. They were set to burn Salmonella alive. I would not have. I had projected myself, set up psychic barriers. I had withstood the heat and some agony of their flamethrowers to defend and protect my Salmonella. Sadly, to that world, at that moment, I was transparent as a ghost. We had lost Salmonella. I was really deeply hurt. And now, the final crucial details about myself right now before we finally are all caught up to this present day of December 21st, 2017. Firstly, I have realized how and why Quickville's Chris Chandler was a sex-possessed lunatic and Quickville going downhill in morale. It was due to my own sins of lust. While here in this world, my own impulses were more well restrained. Roughly speaking, the worst of my feelings were needlessly transferred into Chris as early as 2000. Uh, Chris has suffered the bluntest half of my sins, affect- <laughs> Chris has suffered the bloodiest half of my sins, affecting his own judgment and common sense, as well as my own family of Sonic Shoes and Road Shoes. I have been very much repenting for my sins and readjusting in my own mental and emotional growth and development these past two months. And second, colon, God and Jesus Christ of this world, they only had answered some of my blessings. And when I had thought that they were communicating with me in my mind and dreams, as confirmed by Magic Chan Sonichu himself, a con Jesus with all of his psychic powers messing with my own head. This is psych ward scribbling on the yeah. wall. Like, this is nuts. Yeah. This, this is, is extra funny when you consider that Chris considered himself Jesus like, uh. just like a few years later. Chris was just talking to themselves from the future. This is scary is what it is. <laughs> As the CPU oh goddesses God. of game industry in related nations sharing the same world, as my own nation of Quickville have proven themselves to be very most credible and reliable, they all have well earned my faith and trust. While I do appreciate God and Jesus, roles of this world, it's not enough for me. As of last Sunday, December 17th, 2017, I miss Christine Wesson Chandler. Being of sound mind and body, no longer believe in Jesus or God, of this world and i proudly have changed my oh, own no. religion opening my heart and soul my heart soul and being in all faith to all of console patron unit <sighs> goddesses of every nation of the world i myself will finally occupy personally with all of my family and good friends and allies alike. Chris conveniently aligns themselves with the religion where they believe they are a god in now. Quick veil, my family and people, I am coming my home. One, Dawa Jamari, Dawa Jamari, Zara Zai, I forgot to mention that during the past months, John, his group, and I have been adding funds into Quickville through the simulated heist pulled of in Payday 2, <laughs> as well as Raid. Magichan had converted our offshore funds. Raid Shadow, Shadow Legends? Legends? Raid Shadow Legends! <laughs> 
I'm not supposed yeah, to do that. Well, now let me do no, you no. Can you imagine if you had a segue into an actual raid sponsorship <laughs> right there? We converted our offshore funds into real money for the nation. In Equestria, the Chris clones had evolved to a really blobbyous form. John, Megan, and Neptune lured them all, every last clone, out of the open fields. Most of them, oh no. Most of them have been buried by napalm. The rest perished as well after that day. <laughs> what the fuck? The Equestrians <laughs> were all able to return home and begin cleanup and restoration. The, the war in Goodville finished Thursday the 21st. The CPUs and the other forces forced the German soldiers to retreat, and the remaining detained Sonic Shoes and Rose Shoes were until when we can... I'm having a stroke. Until when we can go back in time and swap all of the captured ones with Dittos, taking... The forms respectively, including Grace Adalia Rose Two and Savannah Rose Two's Egg, is what I would be saying if I did not know better, for you see, each of the special Sonic Shoes Rose Shoes and their families, when any of them dies, their individual and respectful, respective souls, memories, and personalities do not fade away. They each are reborn from their new egg that reappear where they had originally hatched, outside of any animal or human body, at latitude, longitude, location, respectfully, emerging from their eggs with their full souls, memories, personalities unchanged, their lives right there before their deaths, fully able to resume their life from before or start anew. This is an infinite, ongoing occurrence for each and every one of these sonatures and roast. As for Sonic 2 and Rose 2, they get reborn in with their respectful souls, memories, and personalities hatching where they originally hatched, but as Sonny and Rosie, respectfully, not as Pichu's. Ah, uh, I am reborn. I shall grow. I gotta catch up again with my chat up here too. I need to get to Quickville and help Christine, Sonichu, and our friends and family now. Time to grow up again. I know somebody left. <laughs> <laughs> I know somebody left, but I'm gonna play a while. Come on, Zapina. We have to get to Quickville and our family. I, I've uploaded a sound effect. Oh my god, where? Oh. Oh. Yeah. During this time, communications between blank for you of low and I resume on neutral terms. I am doing the honor of a favor. Dick. I just saw a dick. I got confused. <laughs> it's a name. Be mature. We're all adults here. <laughs> that also means penis. <laughs> I'm doing the honor of a favor for her by reading through Philip Dick's The Man in the High Castle today, which has inspired most of this comic, but I won't tell you any of that. Christmas Day 2017, I shall be reading and taking in the third chapter. There was an ambush by the uh, by my grandpa, who definitely was just doing it out of obligation upon John. What? His group yesterday, they all survived the ambush during the early morning hours. Today, the doctor, Sir <laughs> William Strings, <laughs> interrupted my conversation with Bert, CPU goddess of the lean box. Lean? <laughs> lean mentioned. <laughs> Will wanted to mess with me some more. I was caught off guard. I am surfer pissed at all the soldiers for all of this and more i have to maintain full faith in the goddess john and the others and i will put this spell and make dead every single person in an future existence for good even monica is working with them Ugh. fortunately i am also in perfect sync with my astral project itself so i not only am I able to appear in multiple places at once, but in myself, not feeling the pain, my projections faster than lightning, we are fully able to take down and kill all of our enemies, including the German shoulders. soldiers. Every time a German soldier calls me her instead of Fra, the German soldiers is doused in my own blood, multiplied from one drop and dissolved fully immediately, including generals and in all above German soldiers' ranks. Or at least after my team and I are through with them. December 27th, 2017, the German soldiers continue to occupy Equestria. The mirror pool loses all its cloning powers as a cave-in cuts off all of the water flow into it. Are you a Fucking not invasion of Equestria would be a crazy, like, MLP <laughs> spin-off. It is empty, Hassan. Why is it empty? What happened to the water? <laughs> Discord, I know you're enjoying the German soldier chaos, but it is not good at, at all. Fluttershy and the others can't return. Please, Discord, for Fluttershy, dispose of all the German soldiers there and make it so no German soldiers would ever return to Equestria. Thank you, Discord. Christine, 
W. Chandler. Die, <laughs> German soldiers! Die! The mirror pool is quickly drained of all its water, and it loses all of its cloning power. Discord, the god of chaos, receives a message from me, as handwritten by my night star on my behalf. He responded, no. No. <laughs> so I took it upon myself to pay him a visit with my projection. I talked with him and told him of our disappointment in him. He remained stubborn, so with chi Channeled powers, I turned him to stone on his couch. He saw better reason, and he promised me he would clear out Equestria. After fully confirming his word, I released him from so, stone. So wait a minute, there's German soldiers invading Equestria, oh. and this god is just like... Eh. Yeah. <laughs> And Fair then enough. Discord immediately zooms into action. He wipes out every single German soldier in Equestria with <laughs> heart attacks. Hello. He did away with every single dead German soldier modern day. He possesses every single German soldier possessed and German soldier my portal, <laughs> and he destroys <laughs> all of them. He also <laughs> creates a permanent barrier around Equestria, so it could never be infected or destroyed by any and all German soldiers ever again. Oh, oh my this is the last page, guys! Oh, this is the last page for today! Brady! Brady, finish us off! <laughs> German soldiers for a moment. Most of them apparently did not dissolve by my own drops of blood, but regardless, every single German soldier is now doused with my blood inside each of them, as they all now become subhuman and not pure including their super soldiers and those highest ranking in the reich with this utter epic fail all of the german soldiers leave quickville and then meet in germany the whole country is filled with a rainbow of past german soldier sauna shoes and roast shoes the german soldiers fully disband their reich along together all together and dispose of all their weaponry under cpu goddess blanc command and full will sid you've become sancho you too! Ugh, look at this tail! I, I am Groot in front of Haran. I am now pure Sonichu. Help me! <laughs> I can be Sonichu! Oh my god. And we're done! Oh for this god. half! Oh god. Okay, like and And now to go back to our sponsor, Rage. No.